Hello guys! Today I will show you how to make 2D car in Unity. That's easier than you think. Ok, let's start. Firstly, we need to export our car sets. I have this small asset with a jeep, which I drew myself before this. You can use something else according to a test. Well, let's create a simple platform for our car. Add a box collider to our platform and create a new layer. Cause ground. Apply to all our ground blocks. Well, let us assemble our car. Create an empty object and call this Jeep. Drag our car here. Let's zoom out our Jeep by half. Now rename our wheel objects to back wheel and front wheel respectively. For wheels we need to create circle collider 2D and rigid body 2D. Car body create polygon collider 2D. Okay, let's go to our empty object. Let's create two wheel joint 2D and track our wheels here. Let's correct wheel centers. Well, let's check our work. That's pretty good, but let's fix a couple of little things. You can set a suspension in wheel joint 2D, how you like. Ok, check this again. I think I need to correct our wheel centers more. Now create a car script where we'll make our G move. We need to array from wheel joint to D and two joint motor elements. Cut front wheel and back wheel. I created several variables deceleration, gravity, angle car, grounded acceleration, 
max speed. As our car moves to the right side, variable max speed will be negative. Max back speed will be positive. Max back speed, brake force, ground, the wheel, and wheel size. I'll explain why we need them while we're making our games. In Meta Start, announce will join to the components and join our wheels to them. Ok, in Metal's fixed update, the variable grounded must check if our car is on the ground. Create function overlap circle for this. Oh, sorry, I forgot to add public ball grounded. Let's do it. Overlap circle checks. If our bevel object is in contact with the ground, the value of the variable is true, else it is false. Well, the speed of our car must be affected by the angle of its inclination. For this, angle car variable must take the value of our car rotation on z axis. And if the angle car moves in 180, it should take the negative value. Ok, let's acquire the front wheel with back wheel, as I have a far wheel drive car. You can set it up differently according to your desire. Then, let's create a function which we will manage our car. If grounded equals true, we can manage our car. Else, we can't do this. Then, if we press the button, the car will go. Function mass clamp will be calculate variable value in the range from max speed to max back speed. I use the following formula. We subtract from back wheel motor speed the difference between acceleration and the product of gravity to P and the angle car multiplied by AT. And multiply all these by time delta time. You can experiment with the various variables to achieve the desired result for your project. Well, let's make it so that if it don't step on the gas, our car will be slowed down. We have two situations, when motor speed is upper than null and motor speed is less than null. Oh, sorry, we need to swamp the front wheel with the back wheel. It's my mistake. I use same formula, but instead acceleration, I use positive deceleration if motor speed less than null, and negative deceleration if motor speed is upper than null. Ok, go to Unity. We need to link our car script to our car. Let's correct wheel size. Oh, we need to see its radius. Let's return to Visual Studio and fix this. We need to create on draw gizmos method. Let's add color red for these here and write the function which will draw wheel size radius in Unity Redactor. Ok, go to Unity and set our variables in car script. Well, let's check our work. Oh, it doesn't work correct. Go to Visual Studio. We need to set our wheels in wheel joints array to value back wheel motor speed.
we still need to change our key controller. Let's change the get key down to get access horizontal. It controls case A and G at horizontal rows. And if the get access horizontal is more than new, since so we press the D button or right arrow, our car will be moved. If we will press A or left arrow, car will be break. Let's check our work. It's working pretty nice. And if you want the car to move in both directions, you just need to put get axis into your formula. Ok, let's check our car. It's working well. Well, if this video was helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. You can also play my games from the link below the video. If you have any ideas for the next videos or you have any questions, you can write these in the comments. See you in the next video.